Unit 7, Section 1, Part 2. Uh, what we're going to talk about here is using the Pythagorean converse. And what we're going to do is say whether or not a triangle is a right triangle or not. <clears throat> so here is the converse. A triangle exists if the sum of the two smaller sides is larger than the third side. So, if you take the two small sides and add them, if it is larger than the third side, then there is a triangle. <coughs> Excuse me. So, they're going to give you a bunch of side lengths. Add the small ones together. See if it is larger than the third side. If it is, triangle. If not, not a triangle. <coughs> so, number one, the large side is 24. So, 8 plus 17 must be greater than 24. <clears throat> 8 plus 17 is 25. Uh, oops, no, saying 5, so I wrote it. 25 is greater than 24, so yes. It forms a triangle. Now let's look at 2. That's the bigger. So 3 plus 3 must be greater than 7. 6 must be greater than 7. No, it is not. 35 is the big one. So... 25 plus 12 must be greater than 35. 37 is greater than 35. Yes. Yes, it is. Like We could slash that if we wanted to because it's not equal. <clears throat> 52 is the bigger, so 37 plus 42 has to be greater than 52. Let's see. 30 plus 42 would be 72 plus 7 would be 79. And yes. That's greater. Go ahead and give it a pause and try the next four, and let's see how you do. All right. <clears throat> 50 was the bigger. 28 plus 22 greater than 50. Let's see. That makes 50 has to be greater than 50. 50 is 50, so that is a no. It's not greater. Number six, 18 is the biggest, so 6 plus 14 must be greater than 18. 20 must be greater than 18, and yes it is. 24 is the bigger, 12 plus 11 must be bigger than 24, 23 must be bigger than 24, no it is not. 41 is the biggest, 7 plus 35 must be greater than 41, 42 is greater than 41, why, yes it is. The Pythagorean Theorem Converse. <clears throat> converse means flip the other way. So if the statement is something like, if you clean your room, then you can go to the mall. The converse is, you can go to the mall if you clean your room. So it's switching back and forth. So if we have a right triangle, then A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So the flip of that is if um, a squared, well, they like to do it this way. If c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, then the triangle is a right triangle. It's the converse. If it was a right triangle, then a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, there's a reason we've got c squared on the left. It makes this easier and less confusing. Okay. If c squared is greater than a squared plus b squared, then the triangle is obtuse. If c squared is less than a squared plus b squared, then the triangle is acute. <clears throat> so if you keep c squared on the left, it's way easier to avoid the classifying part. Because if c squared is bigger, big is obtuse. If c squared is smaller, small is acute, tiny. 
If it's equal, it's right on. So <clears throat> let us look. <clears throat> First, determine if the three side links make a triangle. Recall from earlier, we just did it. The sum of two smaller sides must be greater than the third side. If yes, then figure out if it is acute, right, or obtuse, okay? Well, the biggest side is nine, so three plus seven must be greater than nine, uh, which is 10 is greater than nine. Yes, it is. So three squared, oop, let's do C on the right side. So nine's the bigger one, so C squared must be something compared to three squared plus seven squared. So 81, it must be something compared to nine plus 49. 81 is something compared to 58. 81 is bigger. So if the C squared is bigger, if we go back up to the top, C squared greater than, then we would go, it's obtuse. Okay. Uh, number two, 29 is the bigger. So 20 plus 21 must be greater than 29. 41 is greater than uh, 29. Yes, it is. So 29 squared is something compared to 20 squared plus 21 squared. Let's see, 29, check my chart. 841 is something compared to 400 plus 441. 841 is something compared to 841. Uh, that would be equal, so that would make it a right triangle. Let's see, 411, 16. 16 is the bigger. 4 plus 11 uh, should be greater than 16. 15 should be greater than 16. It is not, so that's not a triangle. 22 is the bigger. 17 plus 17 must be greater than 22. 34 is greater than 22. Yes, it is. So 22 squared is something compared to 17 squared plus 17 squared. Or 484 is something compared to 289 plus 289. 484 is something compared to 578. That would be less. When it is less, it is acute. Go ahead and give it a pause and try the next four on your own. Okay. Hopefully you had time to pause it in there. 30 is the big one. 18 plus 24. It's got to be greater than 30. Let's see. 18 is almost 20. So if we went 20 up, it would be 44. So it would be 42 is greater than 30. Yes, it is. So 18, uh, sorry, 30 squared is something to 18 squared plus 24 squared. 30 squared is something, oh, why would I do that? I just need to do 30 squared. Ooh, 900 is something to, let's see, 18 squared, or try 324 plus 576. 900 is something compared to 900. Oh, it's equal, so that would be a right triangle. 23 is the bigger. 8 plus 15 must be bigger than 23. 8 plus 15 is 23. So no, it's not a triangle. 39 is the bigger. 31 plus 35 has to be greater than 30. Nine, it very much is, because that's 66 is greater than 39, so that checks out. So 39 squared is something compared to 31 squared plus 35 squared. Uh, 1521 is something compared to 961 plus 1225. 1521 is something compared to 2186. Uh, that'd be less, so it's an acute. 28's the bigger. 11 plus 19 has got to be greater than 28. Let's see, 20, 30 is greater than 28. Yes, it is. So 28 squared is something compared to 11 squared plus uh, 19 squared. 784 is something compared to 120. Ooh, 121 plus, where's my chart? 361. 
784. Whoa, there's my box. Is something compared to 482. It is bigger. Bigger means obtuse. And that is the last part that we're going to talk about that the Pythagorean theorem part. You got a little bit more practice to do. 